In this video, we will take a look at how we can solve rational equations. Rational equations are equations which involve fractions. We've already seen rational equations like this one, 2 thirds x minus 5 sixth equals 4. And what we found out in these problems is we could multiply each term by the least common denominator to clear the fractions. The least common denominator is 12, and so we will see us multiplying each term by 12 so that we can reduce the 12's with the denominator. 12 over 3 is 4, and so we have 4 times 2x, which is 8x. Minus 12 over 6 reduces to 2, and so we have 2 times 5, which is 10, equals 12 over 4 reduces to 3, and we have 3 times 3, which is 9. This reduces the problem to a two-step equation, which we can solve by adding 10, 8x equals 19, and finally dividing by 8 to get x equals 19 over 8. We can follow the same pattern of multiplying each term by the LCD to clear the fractions on more involved rational expressions or equations. Take, for example, this problem, 5x plus 5, over x plus 2, plus 3x equals x squared over x plus 2. Again, we will have to identify the least common denominator of this expression. There's only one denominator, just the x plus 2. So, to clear the fractions so that we don't have to worry about them anymore, we'll multiply x plus 2 by each term. Notice we also multiply the x plus 2 by the 3x, even though it wasn't a fraction. This is because we're multiplying by each term on both sides, whether it's a fraction or not. Now we see the x plus 2's divide out of the first fraction, leaving 5x plus 5, plus 3x times the x plus 2, equals the x plus 2's divide out x squared. We now have an equation with no fractions that we can solve like we have in the past. Start by distributing the 3, giving us 5x plus 5 plus 3x squared plus 6x equals x squared. We can combine like terms of 5x plus 6x on the left side, so we now have 3x squared plus 11x plus 5 equals x squared. When there is an x squared in the problem, we want it to equal 0 so we can factor. So let's subtract x squared from both sides, giving us 2x squared plus 11x plus 5 equals 0. We can factor this using the AC method, multiplying to 10 and adding to 11, which we can see we can do with 10 and 1. However, because there's a number in front of x squared, we're going to have to split the middle term into 10x and 1x. We now have 2x squared plus 10x plus 1x plus 5 equals 0. Factoring out of the left side, we can take 2x, leaving x plus 5, and on the right side, a 1, leaving x plus 5. We now have x plus 5, the common binomial, times 2x plus 1 equals 0. Setting each e factor equal to 0, x plus 5 equals 0, and 2x plus 1 equals 0. We can solve these equations by subtracting 5 to get x equals negative 5, subtracting 1 and dividing by 2, to get x equals negative 1 half, and we have our two solutions. However, one thing to be aware of with fractions is that the denominator, specifically the least common denominator, cannot be equal to 0. We will want to check our answers in the LCD, plugging negative 5 in for x, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. That's not 0, so it's ok. Negative 1 half in the LCD, would give us 3 halves, which is not 0, so it's ok as well. We solve rational equations by multiplying by the LCD.